What do you think is the best way for a filmmaker who's made a movie, let's say, cost $20,000 to make that money back in today? So probably not with DVDs as much, maybe? I don't know. I think the best way for filmmakers to make a movie, if they made a movie for $20,000 to make that movie back, is say for instance, if the budget is $20,000, rent out, rent out theaters, right? So say for instance, and keep the price very low. So if you, if you rent out a theater, I know in Chicago, I can rent out a, a, a 300 seat theater for like $800. If you do that four or five times, you made your money back. You know, and then you, what you want to do is you want to you want you always want to make sure that uh, when you're doing your marketing, try to do more more so towards social media because it's free. You on Instagram, you on uh, you on uh, Facebook, uh, you on uh, LinkedIn. So target target those the, your audience there and do group pages and things like that. And so make sure that like. Uh, Try to t sell a ticket for like ten dollars, you know, ten to twelve dollars. Don't try to go twenty dollars because it's easier to get ten or twelve dollars out of a person than twenty dollars. And people will, people again, they will support you. And don't get frustrated. And I think a big mistake as we as filmmakers, where our frustration comes in that, is that we look for friends, we look for support from our friends and our family. Don't do it. The people who are going to support you are the people like your people that you don't know, like lawyers, doctors, school teachers, firemen, police officers, those people, they, everyone loves movies. So, so go to those people, you know, but we want to, we want to market towards other filmmakers. No, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't, other filmmakers are going to support you if they want to support you and don't get frustrated when other filmmakers don't, why, why are we, why are we, uh, promoting to other filmmakers. Those are not the people, that's, that's not our audience. Our audience is people who are not filmmakers, people who just want entertainment. Those are the people that you market to. Like people who have no interest at all in a film business, you know? And then what happens is that those people are going, that crowd, like, give you a perfect example. When Tyler Perry started to build his, his empire, he didn't, he didn't market towards other filmmakers or other playwrights. He marketed towards the church. And those church people, they, they, they weren't interested, they just want entertainment. You know, and he built an empire because of people who just wanted to sit down at plays. They didn't want to be actors, they didn't want to be directors, they didn't want to be producers, they just, they just want entertainment. So those are the people that he was marketing it toward, uh, to. So as, that's what we have to do as well. So I know I hear a lot of filmmakers get frustrated and say, you know, uh, I don't get the support. Well, because you're marketing it to the wrong people. Market to those people, again, to the firemen, to the police officers, to the uh, teachers, to the janitor, to just the everyday normal human being who doesn't want anything at all to do with the film business but to enjoy a movie. Sure. That's our audience. It's a little tricky here because a lot of people do these dual, I mean, there's people that work you know, in all, all facets of, of LA and then they're also an actor on the side or, you mm -hmm. know, they're going on game show auditions and then you know, they're a fireman by day or whatever, you know, so there, there's so, you know, but I, I hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And I, I find that very interesting that you said not to friends and family or, or let's say college um, alumni or whatever. It's, so can you talk about, did you, did you have to learn that the hard way? I did. Oh, okay. Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> this is all through uh, tried and error. Okay. Uh, like my first film, you know, my first film, like I would, you know, go to, I would text my friends, I would text my family members as far as tickets. I was like, okay, this is not working. You know, so what I would do is, I would go, another thing what I would do is, I would get, uh, in Chicago we call them pluggers. I guess you all call them like pluggers, uh, which are like flyers. Oh, uh -huh. but we call them in Chicago. We call them pluggers. Interesting. So they're like you know, a copy of the DVD with all the information on there, and I will go to the different bus stops. So in Chicago, I'm sure they have them here. People drive and they park their cars in these lots, and they take the train to work, and but they would do this out in the south suburbs. So, so the people out in the south suburbs, what they who are coming to the city, these you have all these different lots. So I would get like 10,000 flyers post, uh, made up. And what I would go is during that time when they at work, I would put the, the flyers on their cars, you know, <laughs> and that's how we would, you know, those are the people that I would hit. But it was because I, I knew, 
I, but it take me a long time to find out that you just can't promote to your friends and your family and other filmmakers. Promote to the people, the people, not you know your friends, not your because they're gonna like if they if they're gonna support you, they're gonna support you. You know, and you shouldn't you, you should we shouldn't have to force them to support us, right? So if you have to force them, you want somebody to people who are going to sincerely and genuinely want to support you. You know, uh, not just support you, but you want them that's going to that come out because the entertainment is good, the quality is good, and so those are the people that we want after. 